What if you could grow plants in your backyard and at the same time generate electricity? Well, you can with the help of plant microbial fuel cell technology. In this system, plant-derived organic matter is used to generate bioelectricity without harvesting the plants. The plant produces organic matter from sunlight and CO2 via photosynthesis. Up to 70% of this organic matter ends up in the soil as dead root material. The organic matter originating from the plant that will be used by the bacteria for electricity production is both rhizo deposits and dead cell material. Many electrochemically active microorganisms are present around the plant roots which subsequently convert rhizo deposits into electrons, protons and CO2. These microorganisms deliver the electrons to a solid surface like a graphite electrode under anaerobic conditions. But why anaerobic? As if O2 would be present at the anode, electrons would directly be used for oxygen reduction and would be lost for electricity production. Let's look at this anode and cathode. We are taking acetate as a model substrate. At anode, oxidation of acetate ion takes place. The electrons are used for electricity production. But why electrons are released by the bacteria? This is because bacteria gain energy by donating electrons to electron acceptors like CO2, nitrate and sulfate. Total voltage can be calculated by Nernst equation. At cathode, oxygen and protons are reduced to water. Here comes the limitations in oxygen diffusion into electrodes. The electrode needs to be wet in order to transport protons and the maximum oxygen concentration in water is also low. So we use ferric iron in the form of ferric cyanide. The Nernst potential of the cathode is However, this makes the maximum voltage obtained from PMFC lower compared to the oxygen cathode. Voltage is obtained by conversions at both the electrodes minus the losses that occur in the system. These losses caused by the several factors leads to the increased internal resistance. But this resistance should be decreased in order to increase the power density as current and power densities are very dependent on internal resistance. It can be calculated by adding the total resistance of anode cathode and transport resistance. By Ohm's law, resistance equals to voltage by current. The anodic resistance can be calculated by the cathodic resistance can be calculated by For the transport resistance, the total voltage can be calculated by subtracting the pH gradient loss and the ionic loss from measured potential membrane. Now the resistance can be calculated by dividing it by current. Another problem is pH difference between the electrodes. Therefore, Hoagland medium with added phosphate buffer, nitrate less and ammonium rich is used to decrease the pH difference. Nitrate is added to meet the plant's nitrogen demands, but it can be reduced by the bacteria to nitrogen gas. These electrons can be directly acquired by the bacteria from the organic matter or from the electrode. This denitrification reduces the columbic efficiency. This technology is under research but has the potential to change the world by providing sustainable green energy without harming the environment.